Sabrina Samba. Whoa! On today's show, the Caribbean Days Street Parade. Multicultural thing, man. The reggae music of Daddy Roy. The sound of the music is the heartbeat of the jump. The new wave of Caribbean music with Mafia and crew. Hearts, hands, minds for Haiti. Love it. Tropical treats from Haiti to Barbados. And I guess if I can't have a margarita, this would be the next best thing to feel like I'm on holidays? I think this would even be better. Welcome to The Express. I'm Johanna Ward in North Vancouver for the largest Caribbean event on the local calendar. Up first on our Caribbean Days special is a band that's been headlining this festival for the past five years, Mafi and Crew. It's the new wave in Caribbean music. It may have taken 10 years in the making, but this band blazed the trail in the local Caribbean music scene. This is Mafian Crew, a reggae Caribbean fusion band made up of members from four distinct Caribbean islands, led by St. Vincent's own Alan Mafi Atwell. Mafian Crew are basically inspired by Caribbean music and we can do anything that we feel like reggae, dance, or soca, you name it. That's what we do. We blend the soca Caribbean music with anything else. Other than my cousin, and we all meet here in Vancouver and have one thing in common. We have a passion for music, so we come together and we play music together. And we play music for the fans, for ourselves, and for our family. Mafia and crew's passion for their music shines through in their energetic stage performances. Mafia and crew are once again a headlining band at the Caribbean Days Festival, an event that started it all. 16 years and I never miss one year. Doesn't matter if I feel sick, I'm there. And more every year, it's growing, and it's like thousands of people. I think they say it's probably 30 something thousand. How much is it? We go through there a year because they want to come and know what our culture is about. In addition to launching the band's popularity, the Caribbean Days Festival has greatly developed the local culture. The Caribbean Festival and other people knowing about it, I think it broadens their horizons. It makes them acknowledge that there are Caribbean culture events and music events, I guess happening. The Caribbean Days also educates many people, many people from different culture, different community, and it's, it's very good because there's different cultures, different backgrounds, different islands, and each and every one has a different trade. And what can the crowd expect from Mafia and crew at this year's festival? I think they will be very excited, very entertained. I think they should take a towel, each of them, <laughs> and a bottle of water, because it's, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be very exciting. We love to see when people have fun when we perform. So when you have fun, we have fun too. So we look forward for that especially. We just want to see people have a good time. Busting a move, I'm Mana Mansoor in Surrey for The Express. To find out where Mafia and crew are performing next and to hear more of their original music, you can find them online at mafia.ca. You're watching our Express special on the Caribbean Days Festival, the biggest of its kind in BC. And it starts off with a parade that brings a carnival to the streets of North Vancouver. You guys look amazing. You're like a glitter explosion. Thank you. Are you with a dance group or something? No, we just play with Mellow Productions and we're having a blast of a time. So who are you guys? Uh, we're the Shell and Hungar Cup Association. And is it hard to do the, the traditional Chinese dancing with all the Caribbean beats around you? Uh, no, not really. Does it throw off the rhythm? Nope. No, no, no. 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 We do our own thing. Hola. You guys look beautiful, but I don't have to guess where you're from because it says right there. Okay. <laughs> El Salvador, El Salvador, yeah, viva! This is 
representing Carnival from Latin America. Okay. So the first costume over there in the orange, that represents Cuba. Okay, El Negrito y la Negrita, in a traditional Cuban rumba costume, right? Right here from Carnival in Rio, we have our Brazilian Samba, and this is Carnival Lady in the Yellow from Peru. Shake me truck! Shake me truck! And what brings you up to the parade today? Well, I'm from St. Kitts, and I enjoy the parade all the time. Yeah. I keep yeah. seeing all wearing the feather on the ankles there. What's that from? Um, well, we got the costumes from Trinidad. And they're just, it's part of the costume trend, actually. It's very exciting. Can't wait. And I'm sexy. Day. Like, it's a pretty awesome look. Oh, we're showing lots. Come down the madness. Well, we are Tibetan. And uh, our society is known as Tibetan Cultural Society of BC. And uh, we have about 200 uh, uh, Tibetans in, in Lower Mainland. This year is the first year of the Persian community involvement. Yes. But there's a, a very large Persian community in the Lower Mainland, isn't there, especially in North Vancouver? Yes, it is. You're right. Yes. It's uh, over 9,000 people. We can move forward uh, the BC and our country if we become united. Thank that's you. really what the parade's all about, hey? Yes, it is. Yes. The Multicultural Street Parade is so much fun. And did you notice that steel pan band that rolled by? Well, we're going to meet them later on the Express. Right now, it's Daddy Roy and his band, and how they're using reggae music to spread a message of peace and unity. Rasta, it's not so much a religion as a state of mind. Paradise is a state of mind. Take it easy. Don't stress. Everything is all right. It's the mantra Daddy Roy and his band are chanting. Here they worship reggae, preaching peace and love with an upbeat sound. The sound of the music is the heartbeat of the jump. Don't matter how you're feeling down or what happened to you, there is a music there to uplift you. Dancing together, um, enjoy it, you know, smile, try to, to enjoy the life, you know. To understand this passion is to understand Jamaica, specifically Kingston during the 1980s, when thousands of people were beaten or killed for their political views. I see how many of my brothers and sisters got on by the gun and things like that, you know. That's what kind of made me feel like, you know, I'm going to do something. I'm going to wake up. It's a multicultural thing, man. So when Roy came to Canada, he started playing music that moved people in more ways than one, just like his hero Bob Marley did. Whether you're black, white, Indian or Chinese, it doesn't matter who you are. Peace and love, everybody needs it. We all need peace and love to build a better world. To keyboardist Ross Bingy, it's the essence of Rasta. It's not about God, politics or even cannabis. It's about unity. Treat everyone as I would like to be treated, live in the moment, the love of what is, is the beginning of wisdom. And as they bask in the bliss of reggae music, these eight musicians are not so much jamming as they are practicing Rasta. It's big, man. <laughs> Tim Chung in Surrey for The Express. Not only is Daddy Roy a huge fan of Bob Marley, he's also from the same hometown as the reggae legend, St. Anne, Jamaica. You can find out more about the band at daddyroythemessenger.com. You're watching our Express special on Caribbean days and Caribbean culture. And we've got music and more coming up. Ready? One, two, three. After the break, the TTCS Steel Pan Band. It's a part of our culture as a Caribbean. It is not hot, it's just tasty, it's not spicy. It's Caribbean true. cuisine. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. 